Hey, good morning guys. It's Patrick here, PCTV, and I'm at Cars and Brunch, Newport Beach at the Chihuahua Tap Room. We've got a good showing here this morning. I just got off of a wonderful weekend at Temecula, and just real happy to get out here and spend some time and look at some of the great cars, enjoy some of the great food, and have my weekly oh, michelada. So, we got a Cobra leaving right now. Right next to it, we got a, I believe a 57 or 59 Invicta. Beautiful car. All right, there we go. Have a great one, man. Take care. Take care, my buddy. Take care. Good guy right there. Hey, we got Bobby Z in the house. What is up, Hello, my brother? Everyone. Good to see you. Yeah. Here I'm going to be on YouTube. And we got Ralph over here. Bobby. Yeah. We got the famous Mr. Ralph Palomaris. How are you, sir? Great. You brought up the big TV. guns. Temecula, I watched it. It was awesome, bro. We got a lot more coming, man. All right, Ton more coming. forward to it. You got it. Probably about six videos from Temecula. Wow. Yeah. Listen to this. Damn. You got to come over and listen to this. Look at everybody over here. We got the whole gang over here. Oh, Dan. You got it. Dude. You bought it. That's awesome. What's up? Good to see you. Look at what Dan got. This was that panel that was a Garden Grove, what, about a month ago, I think? That's cool. They tell me, oh, we know where you, you know, we know what time you went, we know what car you drove. You know, so yeah. now, because Dan usually has the silver uh, double nickel, and now he's got this. So this is beautiful. Hey, guys. It is beautiful, dude. Looking good with it? Hard good? Well, more work. It'll work, yeah. Oh, look at the front on this, man. This thing's gorgeous, huh, Ralph? It's the year I was born and it's in better shape. Yeah, that's me too. <laughs> All right, we got the Frankenstein here. I lost my exhaust coming home from Ted Mecula last night, but luckily I was able to uh, find a piece of wire and uh, wire it up and I'm I'm still running on that piece of wire. But we got Mike Mattis here in the house. Look at that, he's got a great lowering job now on his 65 long bench. Rick's good. Got a 60, looks like a 67 Nova coming in here. A little box Nova. Oh yeah, we got the Nova Club coming in. These guys always look good. Nice car. Another clean car here. He's backing right in there. We're gonna come back around. So we got Surf City VW in the house. We got the Roach right here. Oh no, it's not the Roach. Huh. I thought it was for a second. It's not. It is a bare, mo bare <laughs> metal body, though. Let's see who's running here. Looks like he's running uh, IDFs on it. Yep. He's running IDFs. 1776? I don't know. Um, interesting taillights. One of the late model fenders, and uh, he's got those uh, inset taillights. Pretty cool. Uh, got a really nice square back right here. Looking like a 65, maybe. This thing's beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. 6.5? Oh, yeah. Love it. I'm going to help. Ralph told me to check out the gear shift. <laughs> Look at the gear shift. Shaka bra. Great. Look at that. He's got wood mats in this thing. Full, full slider. Look at the pop out back window. This is just ultra trick. Love is a low license plate frame. Yeah, so this is looking like around a 65. Could be wrong, but it looks just like my aunt's when she bought brand new, but nothing like it does today. Porsche cookie cutter, beautiful polish on these. These are real high quality wheels. I've got original Fuchs on mine, so they're sand cast. They actually don't look as good as the, uh, the, the, the high quality aftermarkets, but I'll take them because they're originals. Okay, so we got a late here, uh, 71. I think it's a Super Bowl. Hey, how you doing? You? Good. Oh, wow. Just uh, join Volkswagen. Yeah. <laughs> so you got your thing here today. Yeah, I finally got it out of shop. Oh, what happened? Oh, I just had the engine getting cleaned up. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. 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 yeah, so you guys, this is a 71 Super Beetle. And the reason why I know it's a Super Beetle is because it's got the it's got the back mat there. And if you look at the hood line, it's got the longest hood you've ever seen on a Volkswagen. Because when they go to the 73, they go to the curved windshield that takes up all that hood space. So this is a really kind of ungainly looking car, but I've had a couple of these in my time. 
and I always thought they were cool. So this is a 71 Super Beetle. Hey, how you, you doing, Paige? Artistry inside there. Did you see the shifter? I bet. Yep, I just saw the shifter. It's I saw that. Boat. Yeah, it's great. But a 71 Super Beetle is just so ultra rare. Because look how long the hood is. It's just crazy. Because they went to the curved windshield later. This has a McPherson. It should have a McPherson truck. It's a really nice 65 right here. I was looking at, and then I ran into Bobby Z. And look at this shifter in here. It's really cool. Nice Hearts canvas top. Yeah, he's also running. Uh, looks like dual empties on here. HPMXs. Those are going to be the 44 IDF equivalents. Love his little uh, uh, collector can, and uh, that's a nice little setup there. I like that a lot. Beautiful car overall. And again, nice cookie cutters on it, and he's got his uh, flaps and everything. Next to it, I believe, is another 65. It is. Um, this is the same deck lid on my car, on my 60. And everybody's gone to this pretty interesting uh, distributor setup here. It's an electronic distributor. I'm not real familiar with it. It's running uh, GM wires on it. This one's a single port, and he's running a single carp with the PIC uh, 32 on it, uh, alternator setup. Uh, basically a factory stock location for the uh, um, the coil. He's got the Euro tail lights on it, and uh, he's got the nice uh, uh, roadside. Uh, uh, that's an indicator light. So when you're parked on the side of the German roads, the idea is, is that that would be on, so traffic could see that you were sitting there because the roads are so narrow in Germany. That's why Mercedes has that feature where you can flip on the marker light on either side. Um, DNJ Auto works on this one, and. Uh, this is the one I was pointing out earlier. It also has a full tank of gas, stock shifter. Really, really nice. Let's get a look around the front. Of course, you know, I've got a red bug. This one's a lot cleaner than mine because mine's a survivor. But yeah, I would say this is the stock version of my cow bug, except mine's a 60. And a really nice car. I wish I'd been able to bring my car today, but it's up on uh, stands right now because I'm doing a bunch of work to it. Um, here's that little dune buggy. I think this is a Manx. I'm not 100% sure. Really, really nice style on it. Nice dip in the belt line there. There are so many different bodies made for these cars, you just don't even know. It's got the MPG TV on there, all MPGT out. It's got the guard cover, I got the fan guard cover on there, MP carb cover, just really, really cool. Loving the Gene Bird jacket and the Volkswagen emblems. Again, just a really cool dune buggy. There's a nice panel bus, split window. Metal dash, got nice flip outs on it. Everybody's doing the powder coating on the flip outs, which I think is really a cool idea. I like the stainless ones too. Look at this here, we've got the nice Serape. Well, let's see, this should be about a $60 Mexican interior because I believe that's three blankets used there. And a very, very cool panel, man. I can see Chris's Continental over here. So let's take a look over here. In fact, here's the Continental. Beautiful car. He brings it here almost every Sunday. Really, really gorgeous. Right next to it, we've got a Buick. I think it might be an Invicta. It looks like a 64, somewhere in that area. Nice shifter. Beautiful gold interior in this thing. Carpet is flawless. The steering wheel is original. It's even got the power steering emblem on it, which is really cool. There's your portholes. Got a Buick signature back then. Get a look at the front end on this thing. It's just a really, really beautiful car. And I believe it's an Invicta, but I could be wrong. It's special. Uh, Gary Gunslinger's here. Here's his beautiful 3100. Yeah, so that's a beautiful car. And uh, Gary Gunslinger's here with his 3100. Exceptional truck, gorgeous truck. He brings it here every Sunday, and it's always great to see him and Wiki and the whole family, marry everybody. It was always cool. So here's down the line here. Hey, it's our host, Angel. Hi, how's no it going? No Trisha today. Oh yeah, we had a really good turnout today. Yeah. Some beautiful cars, trying to pick out which one's the one of car a week. It's gonna be tough. I week. know, I think I, I can see you're, you're agonizing over it right now. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it little great cars today. Yep. Good showing nice. with the VW guys, and yeah, perfect. Especially with SEMA and everything else going on, you got a good turnout today. So I'm just gonna finish We've got a nice 64 Impala, just standard sedan or coupe. I mean, excuse me. This was your this was your commuter car, man. This was your Prius of the day. This is what you bought to go to work in. You gotta get yourself a little box Nova six cylinder. Um, if you got a coupe, usually you made a little bit more money, or you're a little bit higher up the food chain there because you were running that V8. 
This one's probably got a 283 in it. It might have a 327, but more than likely it's going to have a 283 in it. And uh, interesting V8 emblem. Nice interior. Very clean. Goes with the exterior. And next to it here, we've got a we've got kind of a we got a '56 Bel Air that's had a little bit of a, a little bit of mods done to it, like the skulls, They've been molded and modded into it. Jet bird. He's got dummy spotlights on it. He's got lake pipes, and he's got salt discs on it. Wow. Factory 406. That is a factory 406 we're about to look at. And so enough on that. Let's look at this factory 406. Is a Galaxy 500. What am I? It's oh, this is a 62. Okay. And look at that, dude. Original 406 badge on it. So this is this is how it came, man. Look at that. What is the Thunder? Thunderbird. Oh, it does say it is it, okay? It does, yeah. Yeah, back in the day, they used to put those on, on all of their high, high performance cars. Oh, so no matter what, it had the Thunderbird. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Thanks, man. Look at this thing, you guys. Look at that. Single stage manual brakes. You know what? It can get going real fast, but <laughs> back to <laughs> from zero to, from 100 to zero. Well, <laughs> take a little while. <laughs> might take you a little while to get there. Yeah, this thing's gorgeous. Uh, the windows are up on it. Oh wait, we got the driver's window down over here. Look at this Merc. Whose Merc is this? And did Andy already leave? Andy's gone. Oh man, I didn't get a chance to say hi to him. Oh, this thing's beautiful too. I did. This is looking like top to me right here. This is looking like the this is looking like the car of the week right here. So let's look inside here. Yeah, basic interior, aftermarket interior. It's you know, it's a uh, it's a good driver. Just uh, you know, something you can get in and just really really enjoy. You don't have to worry too much about it. But this Merc, man, I got to get around on this thing. Get a tail. It's from the Saints. Yeah. Oh, look at the French job on this antenna. Wow. Full wrap on the flames. You see that wrap on the flames and it's exhaust out the bumpers there. Look at that. Man. Whoops. I just bumped into a bug. I got into trouble at Temecula doing that yesterday. So this has got, look at the lay down on this top. To pie cut this and to make this top work like this, this is an incredible amount of work. You guys have no idea what it takes to bring a chop down like this and keep it proportional. I mean, it's really, really a tough, tough job. Bill Hines was a master at it. And a lot of guys out there too, you know, Gene Winfield and all those guys. But to be able to pull off a chop like this, you have got to know what you're doing. You've got to spread the roof, you've got to split it. You've got to, like, so you got to pie cut it down and lay the whole thing down. You've got to move your pillars. I mean, I've done this work, and it's it's not easy. And I don't do it anymore. We're going to try to get a peek inside the interior here. I don't know if we can. It's really, really tight. As you can tell, it's chopped like you cannot believe. It's got belts in it. It's got plenty of room, it looks like, to sit. They pulled the flames inside. He's got a devil head shifter. Yep. This is pure sweetness right here. Some good stuff. Look at the flames on this, man. And this grill really, really brings it home. This is just amazing. Very cool. All right, we got a buggy here again. Another one. This one's for sale. There's a number if you guys are interested in it. There's a couple guys out there looking for these bodies. It's got a nice little uh, Tanu bikini top, I think is what they used to call it, or bimini top or something like that. Anyway, he's got drilled center lines on it, which are very old school. He's running the BFGs. Nice undercoating. Really cleanly dressed. He's got beard seats in it. These are the seats I used to run in my race car. And he's got the Super Comp, uh, Pro Comp Super uh, gauges in there. And it looks like he's got VDO around that. Yeah, so he's got the Pro Comps in the middle, and he's got VDO gauges around it. Battery boxes here. He's got his empty breather right outside, and he's got an oil cooler back here, too. Interesting place. I wonder if he's pulling any fan through it, any air through it. Oh, this is an empty version of the old Trimill exhaust. Okay, Trimill was the big exhaust uh, manufacturer that made these back in the day. So this is a copy of the Trimill, and it's got an empty name on it. So it's probably made, in, I hate to say it, made in Taiwan. Motor's well done, dual port. Looks like it's got a, uh, yeah, it's got dual uh, cabrons on it. All right, 65 and Pollock convertibles leaving. Out for the day. This is a clean, clean car. Have a good one, man. What a way to enjoy the day. Can't get any better than that. My first car, as I always said, was a 65 Impala. Didn't look anything like this. It was a four-door sedan. But that's one of the cars leaving right now from uh, Chihuahuas. All right, so we'll swing back one more time here. And uh, just so you get the guys get the number if you're interested in it. There's the phone number. 
Alright, and we got the 1 Series 181, belongs to my buddy here and uh, he lives on Lido Island. Great looking uh, thing, he's had this for gosh, 20 something years. Hey Pat. Crazy. Yes sir. He's getting ready to go, but I don't want him to go. I, you know, I figured he was the winner. So this is our car of the week. So uh, we are going to twist his arm and get him to stay for a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm George. George. George, this, you got an awesome, awesome thank car, you, bro. You. It's you amazing. Know, it's amazing. It. All right, so we're going to shut down and we're going to do some more uh, talking here.